you been this whole time? We didn't know where you went. We've been worrying ourselves sick. You didn't even pick up your phone. Don't you know society's dangerous? There's burglary, murder, theft, and violence out there. Don't you know how worried we were? You're grown up. Don't you care when people what do you worry? What from me? Why do you even care? Stop it! How dare you speak like that? You think you can argue with us? I can't believe your gall. I ought to beat you. Wait! Stop! We should at least hear him out. Don't just hit him. Just look at how he acts. I should beat him. Those games have ruined his mind. They made him stay out for days. If he keeps this up, he'll be ruined. <gasps> But why does our son act like this? We could beat him, scold him. All of these different things we've tried. Nothing has worked. There has to be another way. <sighs> Maybe we should try an addiction treatment place. Maybe they can help him. Addiction treatment? How could we? At those places, they use electric shocks and drugs to stop kids from gaming. It's harmful to the kids. I heard it doesn't have any clear benefits. Some kids come out of it not quite right. Like they're in a trance or... Sometimes they get even stranger. Some children even died in those addiction treatment centers. If you send Jing Wang there, you'll be sending him to hell. I won't agree. I don't want to send him there, to the treatment center either. What if it didn't cure him? Say something happened, things could just get worse. Yeah. We should just come up with another way. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't understand. How is it that the government turns a blind eye to those with internet addiction, not even the education department? Being glued to a computer, how can kids learn? Have we wasted all that tuition? That's a good point. If they all continue their internet addiction, nothing good can come from it. The Communist Party won't help us. All they care about is collecting taxes so they can get wealthier. They don't care about the common people. They don't care about the devastation that gaming has caused this generation. Mm. Mm. Our son is a victim. Since they won't help us, we'll have to find a way to fix this on our own. Hey, what if we send Jin Wong to a private school? In those, they keep the students supervised. And they're not allowed to leave campus. And they can't even have cell phones. A school like that, maybe he couldn't get online. What do you think? The idea is good. But tuition is expensive. Just how would we pay for that? I'll think of something. If we need to pay more to get our son back, we will. These private schools are the same. I'm totally sick of this place. I want to get out. <laughs> hmm. Hey, man. Want to go to a cafe? Leave me alone. You're joking, right? 
No way you're getting out. Past those high walls? That's Come on, dumb. man. Keep dreaming. I know a way out. Come here. The young and the old have congregated. There are high mountains and steep hills, dense woods and stands of slender bamboo, as well as a limpid flowing stream reflecting the surroundings. We sit by a redirected stream with floating wine goblets. Although lacking the magnificent sounds of music, a goblet and a poem. Do you know why I called you both here? Take a look at your test results. These grades are awful. Didn't you study or try? Think of your parents. What would they think of these grades? And you spent so much time with that Jufi. You want to be like him? A hoodlum? Ha! Huh? So, you want to play tonight? Yeah, yeah all right. I maxed out PvP, so I'll get the epic arena loot this round. Cool, all right. Let's go. Yes? Monsieur. Hi. Hi. I'm afraid your son has skipped his class. He what? A classmate saw him jump the wall and leave the school grounds. Uh-huh. Jing Wan, hold on, stop! So that's where you've been. Get him. Get him. Here you go. A present from your mom and me. Whoa. You like it? It's great. Thank you, Dad, Mom. Mom, Dad, I got first place in the singing contest. Hmm, that's great. Well done. I'm proud. Mom, Dad, I will surely test into a music school. Mm, that sounds great. You'll get in. When will you stop playing these games? <laughs> hey. 
Hey, you okay? You seem bothered by something. My son's causing trouble again. It's just, all he does is play games. Private school doesn't seem to work. He's always at internet cafes. We just don't know what to do. Hui Jin, he's not the only one. Many kids today are the same way. <sighs> Online games have ruined so many. These kids in the cafes, they're just wasting their lives away. It's a tough problem to solve. I think there's one way to fix this. He should start to believe in God. God is almighty. I know God can help him. In God? Can God keep my child from games? If you truly believe in God, he will definitely be saved. I knew someone else whose child had an internet addiction too, almost failed out of school. When they shared their faith in God with him, his gaming addiction was finally cured. Even those struggling with alcohol or drug addiction have been able to quit with their faith in God. If you lead your son to God, you can't go wrong. Is that true? So in this way, my son could really recover? Hey, how do we do this? I'd love some help. I'm also new to this, so I don't know much. How's this? Tomorrow's our day off. I can bring my friend over to talk, okay? Yeah. Come to my place. We'll both listen. Great. I completely understand how you feel. A few years ago, our child was also addicted to online gaming. Every day just playing his games and not studying. I was at my wit's end. Back then, I didn't know where to turn. I was just filled with despair. I tried thinking of everything to break his addiction. I did what I was supposed to do, used every trick in the book. We hit him and yelled, kept a close eye. We tried therapy as well and an addiction treatment center and nothing would do it. In those days, I have cried so many tears. We feel that way. When I was about to give up hope, I heard about God from a cousin of mine. He said God really exists and rules over all things. Even if life is difficult, if people pray to God, believe and rely on God, God will resolve their problems and help them too. It's true. I already knew in my heart God was real. And when I heard all this, I felt as though I had found a lifeline. I knew our child would be saved. We both started to believe in God. So then what? Then we brought our son with us to participate in meetings and to rely on God, to tell God our challenges. At first, he was still addicted to gaming and relapsed. So we kept praying to God, asking him to save our child. Mm -hmm. We frequently read God's words and communicated the truth with our son, and the Holy Spirit enlightened and guided us. Mm. Finally, our son began to understand the truth. He saw the harm of online gaming. He wanted to get better and grew stronger daily. He actually started to get tired of online gaming. Those games were distracting to him and boring, with no meaning at all. He finally quit gaming and went back to his study. Later, several classmates tried to get him to start playing games again, but he refused. All of this is possible through true faith in God. Right. So then, those who truly believe in God can attain God's salvation and break away from Satan. Your child got better by believing in God. In that case, our son can get better through faith in God. Yes, he can. So, your son believed in God because you wanted it? Kids just want fun. She's right. Surely it's not so simple to get them to believe. That's right.
What did you tell your child to make him believe in God? Our Xing Wan is glued to his games. He won't listen to us at all. We bring it up, he gets angry. It's difficult to communicate. How do we make him believe in God? Yeah. Hmm. You bring up a very good point. Hmm. Our son was also the same way at first. We pleaded with him to stop his gaming to no avail. Whenever we tried talking to him, he wouldn't speak or he'd avoid us or lose his temper. It was impossible. Yes. We couldn't talk to our son either. Mm. Later, I heard these special words from God. Let's read them. All okay. Right. I'll read them. Great. Many might well believe in God, and in appearance they look very spiritual. But as how to treat their children, and as to how children are to treat their parents, they do not have a clue. In their views and attitudes, how to put the truth into practice in these cases. And what principles should be applied in treating these matters and dealing with them, they do not know. And for what reason? The parent always assuming their place as such and taking themselves too seriously. They always see themselves as the parent, the elder. This is a hurtful, a pitiable viewpoint for a parent to have. And hurtful for their children as well, who will be exhausted by it. Isn't this the case? Is this not a manifestation that one doesn't understand the truth? How is the truth to be practiced in this case? Just be an ordinary person. Treat your children, treat those in your own family the same as you would an ordinary brother or sister. Although you have a responsibility, a relationship, nevertheless the position you occupy, your point of view is the same as with friends or ordinary brothers and sisters. As long as it's the same, things will work. That is, you can't control, you can't restrain your children, and always try to keep in command and have control of their every aspect. Let them make mistakes. Let them say the wrong things. Let them do childish and immature things. Do stupid things. But no matter what happens, sit down and calmly chat with them, talk with them, communicate and seek. Don't you think this attitude is good? Isn't it right? Amen. Thank God. That's really just spot on. That's how it is. Yeah. yeah. When we read Almighty God's words, we learned the source of our problem. We were enlightened with a way out. Really, our lack of communication wasn't just his fault. As his parents, it was our fault too. Mm. Yes. We played up seniority in front of him, put on airs, and listed how he was wrong. But this revealed Satan's disposition. How is he supposed to react? Mm -hmm. Later, we used what God had taught. We fixed our own attitude and stopped being arrogant. We spoke to our son from our hearts, just had a chat. We apologized for our language and behavior we had used in the past. He saw how we changed with belief in God, and our son was moved. It gave him a positive impression. Slowly, our relationship began to grow warmer, and his attitude improved. This let us see how God's words provided a way forward and solved the real problem. Yes. To have our child believe in God, we as parents must sincerely believe in God ourselves, mm -hmm. so our son could see the benefits of believing in God himself. He would see that this path is the right way. This way, it was easy to let him believe. Right. So then, we spoke to him about faith in God and read God's words. We watched music videos, gospel movies, and others. At first, even though he would listen to God's words, he just did it to appease us. After that, he'd go back to his games. Yes. We frequently prayed to God on this situation and implored God to save our child. Right. Gradually, he was willing to read God's words and pray with us. Yes. This way, we led him to believe in God and leave online gaming. This gives me hope. 
This is what we need. Our problem is we can't communicate with our son. It's hard to figure out his mood, and we tend to spoil him. Seeing him play online games constantly, we only try to reprimand, punish him. From the beginning, we haven't known how to educate him. After hearing what you said, I feel there's a way. Thank, Thank God. God. So he can believe in God, if we believe in God sincerely. Mm -hmm. If we understand the truth, then our son can as well. And bringing him to believe in God won't be hard. It's such a good idea. Yeah. Almighty God's words are so practical. This is what we've been lacking. I, too, must stop being such a dad and learn to talk to our son frankly. This way, our relationship with him will surely improve. Mm -hmm. Believing in God is great. These life challenges can be solved any time. It saves us trouble. Right. right. Exactly. God's words can solve problems and save people. Believing in God is the right path and a good thing. Mm -hmm.